Springboard Roadshow Foundation in partnership with the Mastercard Foundation and Solidaridad present call the COVID-19 Recovery and Resilience Program. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the CORE program. CORE is a learning, mentoring, and counseling program designed to help young people to cope with COVID-19 and come out better equipped to make progress in various areas of their lives. If you're a young person listening to me, I'm excited to be able to hang out with you. My name is Albright Asiome Bani Bensu. You may call me Brother Albright. I am a counseling psychologist with additional training in clinical counseling and psychopharmacology among others. I help people to resolve issues that prevent them from functioning fully and happily as they would want to be. To do this, I try to understand how people think about issues, how it makes them feel, and the behavior they put up because of that. Today, I want us to have a conversation about developing mental strength for crisis moments. But before that, pause and write down these questions. Question number one, have you ever been in a situation that you thought would never be over? Two, have you ever got into a point where you felt that you did not have enough strength to stay afloat the waters surrounding you? All of us have been there at one time or another. Possibly this year, those were crisis moments in your life. So what is crisis? A crisis could be defined as a situation or event where a person feels overwhelmed and unable to cope. A typical crisis may include a death in the family, being let go at your job, or a rough ending to a relationship or a pandemic like COVID-19. People are emotional beings, and crisis counseling may help one deal with feelings such as being frightened, anxious, or depressed. You can also develop the capacity to handle some of these to a large extent. I want to help you achieve that. To overcome these moments, one needs to develop mental strength. Firstly, to go through the situation. Secondly, to bounce back. This mental strength is what we shall refer to as resilience. Resilience is the ability to cope with, adapt to, or bounce back after experiencing adverse circumstances. We also use the term bouncing forward. That is experiencing disruptive, stressful, or challenging life events, but that provides the individual or community with additional protective coping skills thus providing a route to growth and development. Being able to come out of a crisis positively is likely to depend on the following. One, how much support we have at the time. Two, our previous experience of distressing events. Three, our perceived capacity to cope with the situation, and for the nature and severity of the situation itself. So, how do we develop mental strength for crisis moments? To be mentally strong is to be psychologically bulletproof. 
It is getting to the point where your past is nothing to be ashamed of and your future is nothing to be embarrassed about. What it really means is that you are progressively living your life by choice, not out of fear or crisis. Let us look at some ways to develop this. Number one, accept that crisis is part of life. Life is harder for those who expect it to be trouble-free. The moment you settle it in your mind that it is not strange to have crisis in life, that moment, victory over crisis, has begun. Number two, know what you truly want. In the words of Robert Brault, we are kept from our goals not by obstacles, but by a clear path to a lesser goal. You don't need to always develop alternatives because of a crisis. You may just have to modify how to achieve the same goals you have. If you do not have a clear path to the current role, just consult. But you may not need to defer to a lesser goal. Let us reflect on these. Think for a moment about one goal that you had before COVID-19 came in. Are you still pursuing that goal? What other lesser goal have you replaced it with? Do you still want to achieve the original goal? How can you do so? Number three. Surround yourself with amazing people. Connect with people you trust or get a professional mentor. Peter Levin says, trauma is not what happens to us, but what we hold inside in the absence of an empathetic witness. One of the top keys to being successful or even living a long life is healthy social support. Let us do this. Think of two people that you can call on to discuss any challenges you are facing. You may want to write down their names. When was the most recent time you spoke with or spend time with any of these two people. You probably should call them right away after this, or as soon as practicable. Number four, avoid the victim mentality. View everything in your past and present. This happened for me, not to me. Life isn't about what happens to you, but rather the meaning you give to what happens to you. Now go back to your workbook or notebook and list three unpleasant things that happened in your life which you later found out to be blessings in disguise. Number five, recount your past achievements. Do so by reading your journal, or what some people will call diary, or by discussing them with a willing listener. So, do you keep a diary? Can you remember about three things you achieved over, over the past two years that you were really proud of yourself for? Remember that your achievements can be very simple things not necessarily a national award or things like that. Number six, visualize the end from the beginning. Have a picture of how things will be when this crisis is all over. Believe that this mental image you have 
is happening right now in the midst of the crisis moment. Are you ready to try this? Then, if you are not driving or at work, close your eyes. Think of the future you wanted to have. Imagine that you have achieved everything you needed to achieve. Think about this achievement for a minute. Share with me how this brief exercise made you feel via our WhatsApp number 055-153-5533. Every day, let the feeling linger in your eyes. Let that motivate you to keep going. Remember, crises are transient. You can bounce forward. You have the mental strength to do so. Don't forget to download the workbook for this session. Go to core.com.gh and look for the video, audio, and workbook on developing mental strength in crisis moments. Download them and watch or listen to them over and over again as you take the various exercises. If you have any questions or feedback or require counseling, send your request to us on the core WhatsApp hotline. This has been a core presentation. Until we come your way again, my name is Albright Asiome Bani Bensu. Thank you for your active participation. <laughs> A presentation of CORE, the COVID-19 Recovery and Resilience Program.